Watch Demi's positioning, lads. Absolute perfect in the box. I'm going to switch Tim, and he gets the interception. Again, step out. Beautiful. Get up, Demi! Get up! Oh, that's not good enough. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be checking out Demi Kelly's, who is 5,000 eFootball points in the eFootball point shop. So he's practically a free player if you are playing a bit of the game and getting the login bonuses and doing the campaigns. There's a campaign on at the moment where you can get nearly, I think it's like 4,000 uh, eFootball points. So looking at this card, lads, when I originally looked at him covering last week's news when they added him, I was kind of a little bit disappointed because there's a couple of concessions you need to make and accept if you are going to get Demi Kelly's. But then I played with him and I tested him out. And man, he is an absolute monster. I, de I definitely think he is a beast of a player when he's on the pitch. But looking at the stats here when we max him out, he's only going to go 13 levels. Now, one of the biggest issues with Demichelis is his speed or lack thereof. And also that he does not have 90 in all team playstyles. So you need to make sure that you do boost up his team playstyle to at least 90. If you are going to be playing possession game, then you can obviously keep it and just have one point. But I think the way he levels up here is very nice now obviously we're going to train him up slightly different in game but that's pretty much what we went with there uh i think early in the ball in the in the air he's not going to be the strongest player that you're going to get because he's not the tallest but i think his positioning is fantastic from the games i've played with him we have loads of lovely little clips here um from him and look the thing about Demi Kelly is that you want, right? All you want. You don't want a ball playing. You don't want dribbling. You want positioning. And you also want him to be able to win the ball when it comes into a 50-50. Or even, you know, a 70-30. Where, you know, more often than not, um, the attacker would get it. But Demi Kelly is able to get out in front with his positioning. It doesn't really matter with pace. It's kind of like speed for a striker. Once you have a bit of acceleration as exhibited by Mbappe there, you can see that Van Dijk isn't going to be able to keep up with me. So having those four or five extra points into acceleration or speed aren't going to make or break Demi Kelly's with the way the game plays. Now, we're playing a flat four at the back with our traditional left and right backs. And then we also have Open Meccano and Demi Kelly's as center backs. We're going to put tight marking on Messi. I want to test this out because I am working on a video for this as well. But I think it does make a difference to a slower base center back. Now, as you saw at the very intro here, you are going to have issues with him in the air. Like this is against Messi. He should not be losing that as a center back. Like that is one thing that you need to be careful of with Demi Kelly's. He doesn't seem to be too good in the air, even though he's got really good stats. He's also not going to be a great passer of the ball or a dribbler. We're going to see a couple of instances here. But he is brilliant at just getting out in front of the ball um, and in front of his man and just being able to get it. And look, nine times out of ten, you are going to concede any football's dream team from counterattacks. So you can see there, just get out in front of the player. If you've got player ID, that can do it. And this sets up a 2-1 uh, goal scoring uh, difference maker of a chance there for Mbappe. And he's always going to slot those in. But if you are looking for a player that's going to be like Alaba or somebody like that, I don't think that that's going to happen. But what you will get here with Demi Kelly's is very, very, very good defensive awareness and very central attack based uh, patterns, which he's going to be closing down. Now, we are tight marking on Messi. So Demi Kelly's is going to take on that role as the man that's going to be tight marking more often than not. Now, I did kind of slag him off with his aerial ability. Any defender is going to be able to kind of clear the ball back like that. What you don't want to do with Demi Kelly's, and I'll see people doing this, is taking your time on the ball with him. Yeah, he can play out a tiny little bit, and you will be able to get away with it every now and again if you like need to use him and bring him into the into the ball or into the possession. You can do a couple of little passes and stuff like that, but this is what you can't do. You can't take your time on the ball. If you are playing with a centre back that is not got really good dribbling, like such as Mark Bartra or Alaba or somebody that's an actual ball playing player um, that doesn't have build-up. You will get Demi Kelly's, like getting the ball trapped beneath his feet. He's not the most technical center back. He is basically just kind of a blunt defender. He kind of reminds me of Puyol um, and Maldini that he's just going to be able to obviously get the ball. Now, obviously, Maldini is a bit more class, but in terms of interceptions, in terms of blocking the passing lanes, in terms of just his actual defensive awareness, his positioning from the AI is ridiculous. Like, I mean, even when I'm not controlling him, you will see just time and time and time again, 
the position and that he's taken and up taken up so you'll see here i'm not even controlling him look and he's just going to be passed straight into his passing lane and then a cheeky little pass out and we're on the counter attack so look Dennis kelly's he is what he is don't try and turn him into you know a speedy guy don't try to turn him into a ball playing center back where you're going to be able to bring it out and build up attacks this is literally intercept the ball and get rid that's the type of center back he is but i definitely think he's worth it for 5,000 e e-football points on the shop especially as they are going to expire eventually so let me know what you guys think and i will be back quite soon let me know if you enjoyed this video if you want to see some more next up we've got simmons who is going to be a big review and we've also got declan rice we're building up some clips for that this is just a nice handy one so i hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to subscribe peace